This is the series for anyone who'd love to own a caravan but doesn't want to spend a heap of money on a new model. Have a look at pre-owned models. This one is an Avondale Argent or Argente 550 4 berth. It's 2005 and it's up for sale at a mere £6,500. How is it going to differ though from one of the latest types? Well, it's got a very nice end bathroom that's as good as any you'd see today and it's got a bunk bed arrangement but wait. I think on a modern one you'd have a little bit more protection here so that the nipper on top doesn't fall out and land on the floor in the night. A useful tip down here though, quite common to actually use the table to make up the bed. Here would be the slats that allow the air to circulate nicely under the cushions but here the air can't circulate and the downside is that under a cushion it then gets damp. And that's why you go to a dealer's and you buy something like this or a boat supplier's and that allows the air to get through and it solves the condensation problem. Let's have a look in the front of the van. Something which is a feature of vans of this period is the lighting. For instance, there are four light units like this which are fluorescent, fluorescent tubes. Not very popular in modern vans. It's a cold sort of light, but you can get all the parts, so no problems if you have this. Over here is another feature that's characteristic of the vans of the period. You have a light that works on 230 volts. And for me, I actually like the light quality that comes out of a mains type light. Modern vans tend to rely just on the small 12 volt lights of various different types. And they're effective and they're fine and there's some good ones, but I'm not so sure that I'm so pleased that these have disappeared. Oh. Do you know this is really nice? There's something here that I've never seen in a modern van, if ever. Because unfortunately the seat backs and the seat are normally like that. And humans don't sit like that and they need a cushion. Look, this one, they've actually made a slope on the seat back. And that wedge shape is the secret to the success that I'm enjoying. I don't like the carpet because it's fixed. If you've got muddy boots, muddy paws on a dog, you can't take it out to clean. You do get takeout carpets in the latest vans. Underneath where I'm sitting is the heart of the supply system for fresh water. Whereas most caravans have a little submersible pump that you drop into the water container, this one has what's called an inboard pump. It's a diaphragm pump. It's got wonderful output. It's terrific, except you must make sure that you can reach the filter and change it. Otherwise, it's the sort of thing you only get in very expensive vans. Now on the sides, I noticed that the windows are totally rectangular. How prosaic, how boring. Rectangular. On modern vans, they're diamond shaped, they're heart shaped, they're all very jolly, except, unfortunately, when one gets damaged, rectangular ones are so much easier to buy. Whereas the fancy ones of today, I bet five or six years down the line, you might have a job to get a replacement. In the kitchen, the fridge is a conventional model you can get today. There are only three things that are different here, and one would be the fact that there are two outlets in the sink, and that's a plus point. You've got four gas burners on the hob. Normally in a recent van, you would have three gas burners and an electric mains hot plate. Oh, there's one other thing that's missing. Doesn't matter which cupboard you go in, you ain't gonna find a microwave oven. Not in this van. Is that really a problem? So it's an Avondale. It's 2005 and I think it's in, in incredibly good condition. Avondale stopped making the vans in 2009. Would that be a problem for spares? Not really, because all these appliances we've looked at are still in manufacture, so frankly, that's not an issue. 